Hi guys, here we are. We've made it up to uh, Oki, uh, uh, just west of Brisbane, about three hours up in Queensland. And we're here at the OPEC PFAS water treatment plant. So it's a project we've been working on for really four years in the making, I guess, to get us where we are. We've been started building uh, about six months ago. It took us about three months to get the unit up and running, and we've been in commissioning phase getting it ready. So I'm joined today with uh, Mr. Steve Phillips. Steve's uh, Hello, one of everybody. the co-inventors of uh, foam fractionation, and he's also been the driving force behind both developing the technology and getting it uh, to a commercial stage here on site. So the Oki plant uh, is a 250,000 litre a day treatment plant for treating PFAS contaminated water. It's one of only three uh, treatment plants that we're aware of uh, in the country and, and certainly in the world stage for PFAS treatment it's, it's quite unique uh, in terms of being a, a commercial full-scale plant. So we're going to run through a few things on the plant today to try and give you guys some education on how it, uh, how it works and what we've achieved. First stage we're going to look at, we'll have a look at where we're drawing the water from and what we're treating. Second stage is we're going to run through the pre-treatments, there's a little bit of prepping to get the water ready for fractionation. We'll then run through that fractionation phase itself. We'll then have a look at some of the dewatering and how we manage the waste and then we'll look at the final polish before we're ready to discharge to the environment so if you come with us we'll take you through let's go we're finally at what we think is a really interesting part of the plant because we invented it so we really like it but <laughs> this is the uh this is the foam fractionation phase of the water treatment so um, foam fractionation of pfas is a process that we developed and patented as we said over the last four years lots of hard work gone into it and ultimately culminated in these units that you see behind you which is stages seven and eight of the uh of the water treatment process so Steve, give us a bit of a rundown. These are your babies. Here behind me, we've got five large black vessels. Within each of these vessels, 2,000 litres of water is processed over a 50 minute period. And in that, in that time, it takes the PFAS and strips it out of the water. And then that, that strip with that water that's um, driven off through the top of the fractionator goes to the following stage of the plant with the treated water going through to the polishing end of the plant. Yeah. So this, this stage is really interesting. We've sort of, it's a bit like if you imagine the pistons on a motor, we're sort of driving through 2000 litre batches every 50 minutes, which is what's allowing us to achieve our quarter of a million litre a day um, capacity. And we should say that that's based on a 50 minute uh, processing time. And we're looking to reduce that significantly, maybe as low as 20 minutes, which obviously is going to enhance our overall capability. And one of the important things about this process is there's nothing else added except air. So we've got this little motto that we, we've coined, air in, PFAS out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's unique. It's the, it's the thing that actually separates us. So there's a lot of activated carbon plants and some really good resin plants. And while those products work really well, the mechanical physical separation phase is what makes this really unique. So we're pulling out the PFAS as a hyper-concentrated foam. So to give an indication of that, we start with 20 parts per billion uh, coming out of the wells. We finish our final stage at two and a half million parts per billion. So the concentration steps throughout this process are enormous. This is probably for us one of the more exciting bits. This is where the patent and where the innovation lies. We've, uh, what we've managed to do is take this process of essentially air in and PFAS out, bubbles into water, and introduce with the right veracity, the right bubble size, the right sort of dynamics inside the vessel, and the right type of vacuum system, we're able to really efficiently harvest that foam out. So if you think in stage seven, we took a 20 time concentration step. Here we are at stage eight. So we've gone from 20 to about 400 to about 20,000 parts per billion at this particular water chemistry. So it's a fantastic step up. All of that before we've introduced any chemicals, it's all just a physical separation process. And so the hyper concentrate we produce, we're then able to um, store and take onto our dewatering phase and produce a really minimal amount of waste. We're taking quarter of a million litres a day of contaminated water and we're treating it down to drinking water guidelines. We're re-injecting it back into the environment, making its way back into the aquifer as crystal clear, clean water. It's a great outcome, mate. Good on you. Thanks very much.